The following program is a Town of Colony television production of the William K. Sanford Town Library. Welcome to Getting to Know You. My name is Joe Nash, and I would also like to welcome you to Colony TV. This is our only the second or third show we filmed in the last year and a half almost, so we're, we're trying to get back to normal. And one way we're going to get back to normal is to talk about something that is getting back to normal. The Fry Offers Run. We have with us the director, Kristen Hislop, and we have with us Rachel Gershon Rourke. Did I say that right? Yep. And we're going to be talking about the challenge. It's an 11-week training course, and Rachel took part. She'll be telling us about that. But first off, Kristen, this is a 43rd run. Started in 1979 with about 500 runners. Half were in 5K, half were in a 10K. It built up to about 5,000 5, runners around 2013, but you're still getting three and 4,000. So how does it feel? after a year off, oh no, you did virtual, you can tell us right. about it, but how does it feel to be finally back? Fryover is going to be September 25th, not the usual first right. Saturday of June, so how does it feel to be back? I know, it's, <laughs> it feels good, it's it's exciting, you know, we, we did go virtual last year and we had so many women support that virtual, which was fantastic, but I think people are ready to be back on the streets, running together, having that, you know, the camaraderie, mm -hmm. just that in-person feel, you can't replicate you know, by yourself. And you were telling me before we started, um, now the pandemic lockdown started last end of Mar uh, March into April. The race was supposed to be June, but you still had a couple thousand did the virtual, was that? Right, so we literally, right before the, the, the real lockdown happened, we decided to take the training challenge, at least for the first week, and go virtual. And then that Monday morning, got a call from the parks and said, yeah, nope, we're closed. You're not holding your stuff. And we said, okay, fine, because we're going virtual this week. And then we'll see how it plays yes, out. Well, we quickly realized it wasn't going to play out. So we kept the training challenge virtual. We had the majority of the women stuck with us um, okay. and, and completed a virtual training challenge. So they got their workouts and videos and um, as much support as we could provide them. And then we decided that, you know, we needed to take the race virtual as well. Okay. But what was exciting was that, again, people stuck with us. So there were some Good. people who said, if it's not in person, I'm not doing it. But most said, I really want to do it. Well, it's, uh, yeah. how many did you have? Do you, do you We had over 2,000. Okay. Yeah. Now, Rachel, did you do the virtual? Yes. All right. So now Rachel here has done the challenge, the training challenge for 10 years in a row. How was it different? How do you train virtually? What, what, what do you even do? <laughs> Well, you put Kristen on your shoulder okay. here, you know, and you put all the mentors over here, and you just do it. You're you sort know? of, you got, was it harder to motivate yourself yes. than having the, your, your running yeah. crew with you? or Definitely, because, you know, we have a date night, and yeah. then, you know, we have our date Saturday, <laughs> and, you know, it's so much easier to just say, oh, I'll just sleep in today. Yeah. But if you know you have to be there, and they're going to be looking for you, <laughs> and your friends are there, yes. and you know your friends for uh, women, family are there, and you, you just become this incredible group of women from every background, every age, just smiling when and you're you were, there. You were telling me before we started, you've been doing this for ten years. You have made many friends, lifelong friends from yes. doing the, okay, so that's good. And yeah. Have you some know, of them done the challenge every year with you? Some, um, I, I keep asking them, are you going to do it again with me this year? And the, we'll, we'll cheer you on okay. this year if they can't do it. But yeah, I have had some friends okay. you know, stick with it with me. All right, so I should say one other thing about the race. It's not only the premier women's race in the Capital District. It's the premier, one of the premier races, 5K in the whole country. We have people from over 30 states come, mm -hmm. 28 countries, and I think many times 
there's former Olympians have been in this yeah. race, right? Yeah. But the race is for everybody. It isn't like yeah. it's just for the for that. I mean. It is. It, it truly is. And I mean, it's fun when you watch the Olympic trials and you yes. can say, oh, well, Elena Taub, who lost her shoe, won Fryhofer okay. a couple years back. You know, so so that there is, but the majority of the women who run it are, you know, they're regional, um, which is what the Fryhofer's brand yes. is. It's a regional brand. And so we really want to celebrate that sense of community. And that's what's so unique about, you know, creating this training challenge and now coming into its 11th year. Pretty cool that the program is, is still going strong. And it goes strong because of that ability to get people together and they can support each other. And most women have really good excuses for not running. <laughs> and we kind of like take away some of those excuses, yes. make it a little bit more palatable and they stick with us. All right. And so then Rachel was telling me before we started all about, all right. So I'll just, okay, we're going to talk about the training. It's 11 weeks. It starts on January, or I'm sorry, July 11th is a Monday. There's about a dozen places you can do this. There's morning sessions and evening sessions. I won't read them all, but you'll get the idea. You can go to the, um, you can do it at Crossings Park right here in Colony, the Bethlehem High School, the Albany Rail Trail, um, the, the Crossings, that's an evening one, the um, Gilded and Y, East Greenbush Library, the Zinn Smith Trail up in Round Lake. So there, we're having this four counties, Albany, Saratoga, Rensselaer, and Dutchess County. So um, the Red Hook Town Park. So as you can see, and the um, sessions are anywhere from, I think there's a couple at 6.30 in the morning, there's some at 8 in the morning, there's some at 5 and 6 at night. So people should be able to make one of these, wouldn't yeah. you say? And most of the, there's three categories, beginner, for people who are literally well, you were obviously were a beginner once, Rachel, right? I am the perpetual beginner. <laughs> perpetual. I because you know that's my that's my pace, and I'm comfortable with it. And um, it's uh, the dynamic of being a beginner. Every year, there's a lot of cheering on, but also the advanced runners. They're always on the mm -hmm. way back while we're going, <laughs> but they they cheer us on. Yeah, you know, and um, that that's just. Okay, well, so I, I, you must, after 10 years, you must be at least intermediate by now, aren't you? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, though. There's a lot of women who will, will come, and, and they may migrate between groups sometimes. Yeah. But, you know, if you haven't been running, then it's good to start off in the beginner yeah. program again. Because by doing these programs, the other nice benefit is you tend not to get injured. Yes. Because it's a nice slow ramp up, and so we encourage people. It's fine to keep coming back to the beginner group. So most most of the groupings, the overwhelming majority are for beginners and intermediates. There's a few advanced, mm -hmm. and you know we we can talk about them in a minute. But this beginners are for people who are getting ready for possibly their first race, like Rachel ten years ago, or if you do the intermediates, intermediate to improve your time to get mm -hmm. better. You're going to be doing some workouts. Um, so let me start with beginner. What what do beginners do? Or Rachel, you, you since you're the perpetual beginner. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, really. What would be a typical night or morning on your your workout over the 11, 10, 11? Well, weeks? you show up and you're just nervous. Okay. <laughs> and everyone just pulls you in. Yeah. You know, and they say, okay, you come over here and you sign in. We're going to do some warm-up activities. Um, these are some friends who've done it before. Here's a mentor. Yeah. See the people that are wearing the, these um, shirts. They're mentors. Go and talk to them about anything. Um, and then through that, each week, they also will have um, a guest nutritionist, a guest person talking about footwear. Um, we've even had a clothing swap. Okay. <laughs> um, so, you know, we've they've listened to us and then went out and found what we needed. And it was sort of, uh, I think, a trial by error because the first year, I don't think anybody knew what they were doing uh, other than we, we were going to run a race. And uh, well, you said the first right. year you did not know. That I, you were running. I <laughs> forgot. I was so focused <laughs> on putting one foot in front of the other that um, when Kristen mentioned around week eight, the Freihoffers race. Yes, I, I, I froze. I said, "Oh my gosh!" Um, but it, I, I lived. Yes, okay. <laughs> and I did it. And Kristen, I have to say, was there at the end, and, and she hugged each and every one. And of you us. were telling me um, 
you really wouldn't have run in the Freihofer's race with 4,000 other women if Absolutely. you didn't go through this. It really got you. No, that was for runners. That was for, you know, people who were tall and thin and, you know, they ate, you know, granola for breakfast <laughs> every day. It wasn't for me. But then, you know, I did it. And then other people who look like me. And then I found out there were people that look a little even bigger than me <laughs> and they're running marathons so you know I I realized Chris told me you're a runner and I went home and I said I am a runner and when you have that and that confidence and the confidence like I said Kristen's on your shoulder here <laughs> and everybody your friends are over here you have that with you each and every week, even when you have a bad run, even when you have the best run ever, it was better than your run on the race, but you still have everybody has, has your back. And you told me also before we started, we had a long conversation right? before we started, you, you actually ran in other runs besides fight offers, you got into other runs. I did, right, so. I did, um, because now I'm, I'm a runner and then I found this um, free Adirondack oh, yeah, or something, yeah. and it showed all these races and I thought, let me look at the ones that are fundraising for good um, yeah. causes, you know, like the Fryhoffers. And I thought, this is something I can do. I've had um, grandmothers who passed away due to cancer. Um, you know, I have a really good friend who passed away at cancer. And I thought, hey, I can do this. And I can, and they, they run with me too. Yeah. Well, that's good. So, Kristen, now when, when we, you go through the 11 weeks, um, what is it you're going to have training? I guess it's a little different this year. Mm -hmm. What would be a typical workout? You're not going to be having running quarter mile uh, intervals, are you? Or <laughs> no, so it still is a progression. What we changed up was instead of having really big groups meeting yeah. um, at the parks and doing like a Monday and a Wednesday and a, fr and a Saturday meeting, we asked the mentors, what's the best place for you to run? Um, and what time so they created that's why we have all these interesting yeah. places now because it's we have lead mentors who said okay I want to do it on the Albany Rail Trail in Voorheesville and I want to do it on Thursday night at 6 p.m. and so we said great like that's one group so that you know again planning we were planning in the middle of the pandemic and saying all right if we have small groups of 10 then we can do this you know we can manage and people mm -hmm. can be socially distanced and all of that so I and noticed. that's why we have such a variety now. But everybody will still be going through the same progressions mm -hmm. of workouts. Okay. So our beginner workouts are basically the same Monday, three times a week they, they'll run. And it's the same for like the first three weeks. So the, let's say you're doing Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday runs. On Monday you do a run, so it starts off 30 seconds running, 30 seconds walking, on and off, on and off, on and off, with a uh, warm-up and a cool-down. And then you're done. You do that same workout again Wednesday. You do that same workout again Saturday. Mm -hmm. So by Monday, everyone's terrified of the workout. Because you're By uh, Wednesday, it's okay. like, eh, it's not quite so bad. And by Saturday, it's like, I did it. You know, and then you start the next week over oh, okay. again. Okay. So what, so, now what would an intermediate week So be? an intermediate, we still start a little bit of that run walk, okay. but it's a longer segment. So it might be six minutes of running and one minute of walking. Okay. And then six minutes of running, one minute of walking. Then we do move into some interval work with okay. the intermediates. So their distances are going to go up and they may run four to five miles on a long run day. Okay. Um, but really what's important But that wouldn't too, be until like the... So we get into eighth, it. Eighth yeah. or ninth week or tenth week. Yeah. Okay. And then the advanced, same thing. The, the advanced program is more about going longer. Mm -hmm. um, they do do speed work, but our paces of the women in that group are anywhere from an eight minute pace to a 14 minute okay. pace. So it's not necessarily like you're advanced, you have to be running a 640 pace okay. for a half marathon. Like we don't know. It's, it's, it's those people who say, you know what, I just really want to do a half marathon. I want to do a 10K. And it gives them that, that chance to train. Well, I think it's said in here somewhere for the advanced, it's for people, if you're used to running five miles yeah. or more. Okay. Yep. So yep. you can be joining the advanced someday, Rachel, I think. So. <laughs> I may. <laughs> so the other thing uh, you were telling me, um, if you say you miss your say you miss your uh, your meeting on Tuesday, you can go to the next night to one of the other places, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So, 
Hey. So, and now we're feeling a little more comfortable saying that. Originally, you know, planning during the pandemic, it was like, okay, we're going to have everybody meet with their group. Yeah. That's it. One one thing we, we're going to give them kind of a couple options. One is you're going to have this group that you meet with and with a lead mentor there, and we would encourage that group to then meet again okay. at different times. You know, figure out, okay, this is a good day for all of us, and we're going to meet again. Or there will be opportunities for them to okay. attend. Other all the things. information will be on the screen here. All the information is on fryoffersrun.com. Um, there's a thing for challenge. It does cost $55, mm -hmm. but I think besides running, you get all kinds of well, guest speakers. I mean, right. what, what do you get? Yeah, here? so we do, and we'll do um, we'll do a clinic. We're going to do now because things have opened up yeah. again. We are going to do a big group, and like Rachel said in the past, again, it's it's kind of morphed of like what people said they wanted yeah. out of the program. And in, at one year, one, somebody said, well, I have all this extra gear that like doesn't fit me or I don't wear, I bought it and has tags on it. What can we do? And I was like, well, let's do a clothing swap and anything left over, we'll donate. Okay, so so it's turned into this awesome thing where people come and there's brand new items and people can, you know, you bring something, you can take something. And we end up with quite a bit and we donate it to Strong Through Every Mile. Okay. And then every What's this, um, Rachel? Were telling me about this every Saturday morning. All groups get together for a run. Is that what? Well, that's how it was in that's the past. Was. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I mean, we'll move back to that next March. Okay. Just keep fingers crossed that everything stays the same. Um, but this year, yeah, we did change it. So we have this once a week. You have your definitive group that you're with, and okay. then our hope is that we can expand as, oh, okay. as we go. So now, is there anything um, different? about the race this year it's oh, oh i'm sorry the start is a little different you're going to start there's going to be less standing around you're going to start in waves is that new well that was the well so we always have had waves and we've had colored bibs okay so when you sign up for the race you put in your projected time yeah. and some people get really worried about that especially in the training challenge because a lot of people have never done a 5k they so don't know i have no idea oh it's the sign take like me four hours the we're oh, like nice. it's not going to take you four hours i promise but you know they don't know right so in the training challenge and the if it is we go back in and print out that list and say Rachel okay let's talk because you're not gonna do a four-hour 5k yeah. <laughs> you know we here's what we think you are right now um, but that's what enables us to then give color-coded bids. so people start and they like so the uh, you know elites are at the front and yeah. uh, you know five-minute pace six-minute pace seven-minute yeah. pace it just keeps going okay. back so um, so yes uh, we have a plan of a very staggered start with six people on the line every three to six seconds the next okay. group going off now it's looking like we may not have to do that that we may be able to go back to our color-coded bibs and okay. have people but you know we're we're working with the the city and our timing company and um to make sure we put on a safe event. so what are you thinking you're gonna you think you'll be able to have three or four thousand this year do you have any indication yet how many people have signed up yet or yeah we're get, we i mean we're getting people registered now unfortunately women in the capital region like to wait until the last minute to sign up so you know for our planning purposes we would love for people to plan a little bit ahead um but, you know, yeah, we, I mean, capacity-wise, we can do it. Yeah. Um, for a while, I was kind of thinking, you know, do we have a band or not have a band at the end? Like, you yep, know, we're going to go with the band because we really think that we can have people finishing, hanging out. It's all outside. Yeah, so uh, it's always... September 25th, we're not too far into the flu season no. so i mean i've been to many my wife usually runs it but it's, it is a fun day there's a lot of people around you can you know see all the runners and it's like a festive atmosphere mm -hmm. um so the other thing people can do they can volunteer to, to pull something off like this takes a few hundred volunteers, a few hundred <laughs> volunteers and then rachel is in charge of the volunteers oh, 400 of them she's in charge of them. so where can people um Sign up. Is it all on that Fry Offers race? Fry Offers one dot com. There's a volunteer spot. Mm -hmm. Yes. And what are some of the jobs the volunteers would be doing? We have everything from handing out cookies <laughs> to handing out your bibs um, to water stations. Okay. Um, you know to. Um, Set up cleanup. Set up cleanup's a big one. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Um, so and it's 
it's been really, you know, when we bring it, bring it out there, would you like to be a part of this? Everyone's really excited and they're really happy to do it. We're, we're just making sure this year, because we had a year off and the time is mm -hmm. different, that we're, we're reining, you know, these people back in, but we're definitely going to need more volunteers. And honestly, once, once you, you do it, you just you want to be a part of that you want to continue and then the race is the same as it starts in the in between the education building and the capitol same mm -hmm. starting yep up and back up and back yep okay. up, up washington through the park and then back down so it'll be the same thing you know you come down that hill and see the flag on city hall and know that you're all right, just well, that, downhill rolling into that finish. It's good that so many things are starting to, starting to come back. Well, and that's what we feel <laughs> like. At least this is something everybody can look forward to. Yeah. That you know, and I and I actually love the fact that we're in September because you know we're going to start the training challenge in heat, but it's going to get a little cooler. Yeah. It'll so be race up. day, the weather should be perfect for a 5K. And if everything goes off, hopefully everything will be okay. You're going to be back to normal in 2022? First that will be the goal, yeah. First, first Saturday, first Saturday after June. Memorial Day. Okay, so after the Fryhofer's run, there's a few kids' events I'll talk a little bit about. There's the Junior 3K run, 1.86 miles. And even though the Fryhofer is the run for women, this is for boys and girls, mm -hmm. which is nice, <laughs> between ages 7 and 14. There's also a kids' run, or kids' runs, or several, for ages three to 11, but there's all different distances, everything from 50 meters up to a mile. So there's a whole bunch of whole bunch of races there, and you can sign up for all this on that same website. It's all there. And um, yeah, we're doing again. So last year when we had to go virtual, we took the Junior 3K virtual. Oh, the kids and because the kids, kids runs are free. The the 50 meter yeah. up to a mile runs are free. So did kids participate and, uh, virtually? They did, oh which God. was awesome, and it was really fun too. Because and we're we maybe it was a good time to train people because we love to hear people's stories. Yeah, we love to see pictures, and so it was great because people posted pictures of their virtual 5K oh, okay. and their kids' virtual 3K. So we're going to offer the virtual 3K again because right. you know it may be that somebody's got something a soccer game or something and mm -hmm. they can't do it. Well, we want them to be able to feel like they're still part of our family and can participate. And then the Fry Offers Run, there's a Facebook page I was looking at, there's mm -hmm. all kinds of pictures. Yeah. So the race is September 25th, but when you pick up your bib at the New Scotland Avenue Armory on the two days before, Thursday, September 23rd, between 4 and 8 p.m., or Friday, September 24th, between noon and 7, besides picking up your big, there's a big expo there. Vendors and products. Well, who's going to? Do you have it all, right. all set up? So yes, and again, we partner with Sage on that Sage College on it, and they're a fantastic partner. Um, so we are going to do it there, and it's a, again night. Nice. It's a great venue because they've got all the doors that open. Yeah, you can. So you can make that as airy as you need to yes. make it, um, and a lot of obviously, as you would think, a lot of the nonprofits who typically come, a lot of the vendors who typically come, have not been able to do anything. Yeah. So they're all itching to get back. I and know, be able right. to be in front of people and talk to people. And so, again, we're thinking that that could be a really yeah. fun opportunity for people just to feel like, okay, so we're inching back. So now, just because everyone are inching back into everything, for the 11-week for the training that starts July 11th, are there any COVID restrictions? Are you just... Is it well, you know, originally we had that yeah. you would wear a mask there, and then when you started running, you but, would take your mask off. But now that mask mandates are gone. Okay, so at the uh, moment. And, but we, you know, we understand there's some people, you know, who aren't comfortable and okay. wear a mask. All right, well, we're still, like I said, we're, we're, still, yeah. we're still inching back. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. So, what have we left out? Anything? <laughs> yes. Rachel. Being in the training challenge. We are treated like royalty. Okay. We have a VIP tent, and it's all set up for us. You mean down at, on a race day? Yeah. Oh, a race day, you guys get your own tent. We okay. do, right, well. and um, you know, we have our gathering place there, and um, our mentors are there. You know, making sure you know okay. we have our shirts and we take our group picture. Um, you know, and a place for all our family supporters to come to I to see. support us. And it's is it by special badge only or something? Yes. <laughs> well, yeah, we, are, we do. We do. You know, and we had refreshments in there for okay. the training challenge participants. Oh, that's a good. So perk. we really yeah. do. That's yeah. Oh, yeah. They, they take they take good care. Oh. Of us. And we're going to do a couple more really new exciting things this year. But um, 
But, you know, one of the first years we did wristbands that identified who was yeah. in the training challenge. And we're going to go back and do that again. Because, oh, okay. you know, for even the mentors, and especially this year because we won't all be together all the time, mm -hmm. we want everybody to know. So uh, every year there's this shirt, and this year we've got a really special shirt. Um, but, so, but not everybody wears the shirt yeah. during the race. So, you know, we want to make sure that we know who everybody is okay. who's been part of it. So Was that the shirt? We do the, that. That this, was last year. This year's? is last year? No, the one, you, the one you gave Rachel earlier. Was that this year's shirt? Can you... Oh, oh no, no, that's I know. because I'm all a volunteer right, director right, right. now. <laughs> no, and I meant to bring one up. It's okay. a, it's actually a purple shirt, yes. and it's kind of a camouflage feel to it. Mm -hmm. It was a custom sublimated okay. shirt. But that, Ooh. the one you're wearing. That we did. That's it is. But you wouldn't run in this. No. So we do one for the training challenge that people can train in. So it's a training technical shirt, but it's honoring a mentor that yes. we lost. So. Oh. And then um, finally, I forgot to mention this, there's... To be in the Fire Everest Run, there's a lot of teams. You can you can enter your team, but there's all kinds of categories. I'll just name a few because I, I can't remember them all. There's mother, daughter, sister, sister. There's one called grandmother, mother, daughter, and then there's and then great grandmother. Oh, there is. I didn't yes, see that one. Yes, there's a four generation. Four, and then you can have your you can have your work team. So there's all kinds yeah. of teams. And are they? That's pretty popular, isn't it? It is. And the one thing I would encourage people, please, 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 check the results when you come in. Because very often people win awards and they don't know. They won, so they even win a within team age award. groups, they win team awards. But even in age groups, okay. it's amazing how many people don't pick up their awards. Really? And this year, it's jewelry again. So they may really want to focus on All right. looking up the results. All right. We, we'll leave the... We'll, we'll leave the jewelry award secret till September 25th. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, Kristen and Rachel, thank you for coming. Um, it's really great to be back doing our shows again and we're, we're yeah. getting sort of back to normal we're inching back and the, the um, fly offers run is back September 25th and if all goes well it looks like it's going to it'll be back to normal in 2022 first it's usually the first Saturday of June so yeah thanks first for Saturday after Memorial Day so it's just but it is a June it's that first Saturday okay. in June next year and Rachel I are you are you doing your training at the crossings again yes all right so I go over there a lot to walk or ride my bike I, I may see you over there <laughs> all right I'll be back. running by you <laughs> all right so thanks for watching and we'll see you next time on getting to know you